Hi guys, it's Wendy Irene, founder of GiveLoveCreateHappiness.com. Thank you for joining me for a weekly oracle reading for October 3rd through October 9th, 2016. And today I knew exactly which cards I wanted to use, and it is, of course, Dorian Virtue, the Archangel Michael cards. And the reason I'm using the Archangel Michael cards is because uh, this week at the beginning of the week, I got in an accident. And Archangel Michael is a very loving, protective angel energy. It isn't about worshiping angels. We're not worshiping angels. But we are loving and embracing the fact that God gave us angels to help us. So Archangel Michael is a great angel to call on if you're going to be traveling or if someone you love is traveling and they're going somewhere, ask Archangel Michael to stay with them and protect them. And when you get in the car, it's always a great idea to ask Archangel Michael to be with you. Um, I will tell you more about the accident soon, but we're both okay, myself and the other woman that was involved in the accident and um, totally protected, just sore and stiff. So anyway, I wanted to let you know about Archangel Michael for that reason. So let's get started on the reading. I'm just going to shuffle the cards and say prayers. You can always say prayers alongside me right now while I do this. It makes it even more powerful. The more light in the world, the better. And we really need it. Okay, now I'm going to ask for the right card and guidance to come up. Oh, I've been getting this message so frequently. It's so funny. I can't even tell you how many times I get this message and I keep not doing it. So, man, I need to do it. It's pay attention to your dreams. And you might have seen, if you follow me on social media, saying that I need to keep a dream journal because very interesting things have happened and I don't write it down and then I forget some of the details. Okay, so it says... I'll read you the card. It says, thank you for tucking me into bed tonight and helping me enjoy a wonderful, restful night's sleep. Archangel Michael, I invite you into my dreams as my teacher, guide, and healer. Please allow me to understand this, and you can describe whatever situation it is. Whatever you're going through, ask for understanding on a spiritual level and give me guidance. Oh my gosh, this is so important. I mean, we're all going through things and to go to bed at night and ask Archangel Michael for guidance on that situation, it's just amazing. Um, there's a lot of things that we don't get to understand ahead of time that happen in life and, you know, it's not always easy. I know a lot of you are going through a lot and... Um, Asking for guidance in your dreams when you're in your dream state, you are a lot, uh, it's a lot easier to communicate with the angels and with your higher guidance and your soul. So what a great idea to ask before you go to sleep and keep a dream journal. And I don't know how many times I'm going to tell myself this. I need to get to the store and buy myself a dream journal and leave it next to my bed. I mean, I've had some really, really strange things happen in my dreams. Uh... More recently, I remember that I had three beings working on my third eye and I really believe that they were trying to open up my third eye even more because I think there's a lot of ascended beings that are very loving and want to help us here. And in order for them to be able to communicate with us and help us, they need to help raise your vibration in your third eye. So, um, yeah, I, and I never really kept too much of a journal about that. So keep a dream journal. Maybe it'll really help give you some guidance for whatever you're going through. Because I want you to know, like, we're all in this together. I feel like as a light worker, it's my job, and I don't always do a good job of this, to really do my best to raise the vibration, raise your vibration, keep you as positive as I can, because that is the best thing we can do to stay aligned with the light, is to stay as positive as we can. And I know it's not always easy, and it might seem like I'm always here on camera smiling and it's not always easy for me, but 
I'm not doing my job, what I came here to do, if I'm not trying to help you raise your vibration. So I, I want to be real with you, but at the same time, I really want to help keep you as positive as I can. I want you to remember that there is no separation between us, even though it feels like it. And I get it. I know it feels like it. You know, you may have lost someone you love or, you know, say you're a parent and you have a teenager that's struggling. And the only thing that you can really do that really helps people is to love them no matter what. So, and the best way I know how to do that is to think of them and send love energy directly from your heart to theirs. And trust me, it is felt, it is, it makes a difference. Um, there are studies that show when you pray for people, even if they don't know, it impacts their uh, recovery. So you can love people and you can really help them by sending love directly to them from your heart doesn't matter where they are. It doesn't matter if they're here or if they're passed away. Send them love from your heart and you will be doing a lot of good and um, ask for guidance in your dreams and write it down, whatever, whatever comes to you. Maybe the dream might seem really weird and you might not understand it, but if you write it down, you might then later on look back at it and it will make sense. So I hope you have a really good week, guys, and know that I am sending you so much love and light, uh, each one of you that are coming here to watch these videos. And to be honest, it makes it does make a ripple in the world. It really doesn't matter how many people you impact because it ripples out there. So the fact that you're here and you're listening and you're accepting this love and light means a lot to me because I know that you will then pass it on to others. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great week. Come over to givelovecreatehappiness.com and sign up for email updates and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I look forward to seeing you again next week. Bye.